Yes, for Meg Oliver talked to one man who says his identity was stolen not long after that breach. Lee Cutberth and his wife Allison have always taken extra steps to protect their identities. The credit goes to my lovely bride who goes as far as burning off her information on her prescription labels before she throws them away. But that vigilance wasn't enough. Recently, his identity was stolen and criminals tried to open a credit card and a car loan in his name. Fortunately, he was able to stop it before losing any money. It really uh, made us both very angry. Lee says it happened shortly after the Equifax data breach. The credit reporting agency says hackers got access to the personal information of more than 145 million people. Should most Americans assume that their personal identity has been compromised? I, I think it's safe to say everybody has been compromised. Cybersecurity expert Scott Schober says the big fear is that your information could end up on the dark web, an untraceable area of the internet that attracts criminals. He showed us everything from bank statements to driver's licenses and security answers. It's filled with tons of information available out in the wild for people to access, buy and sell. And what can they do with it? They do anything they want. They can kind of control the world in a sense. That's the part that scares me so much. Schober says there's no way to completely protect yourself, but he advises going old school. Always use cash instead of your debit card. And he says you should also freeze your credit so no one can open an account in your name. Freeze your credit immediately. Lee believes his information was exposed in the Equifax breach. He's now hired a lawyer and joined a class action lawsuit against the company. We're looking to hold Equifax accountable, and that includes making sure that they change their ways going forward. The Cutbirths have taken steps to protect their identity, but wonder if it's enough to stop criminals in the future. Meg Oliver, CBS News, Metuchen, New Jersey.